Safety, a big concern in the Commonwealth tonight, starting in Loudoun County, where the superintendent is apologizing to parents, all because of how the school system responded to two incidents involving students being sexually assaulted. Our Matthew Torres is all over this story for us tonight. He joins us live from Loudoun County. And Matthew, first we have the superintendent speaking about this, and then a school board member resigns. What's going on there? Well, Lorenzo School Board member Beth Bartz uh, really resigned this afternoon. She took office just back in 2020 representing Leesburg, uh, but she is leaving this position embroiled in controversy. And in her resignation letter this afternoon, Bartz says that this decision was not easy, but it was the right one for her and her family. Bartz was the subject of an effort by many parents and groups in Loudoun County, including Fight for Schools, who wanted her gone. In a petition, they accused her of incompetence, neglecting her duties and misuse of office. Office. They say she crossed the line when she urged members of a private Facebook group to compile a list and expose information about people against critical race theory. That's just one of many hot topics that catapulted Loudoun County Public Schools into national spotlight. Today, the superintendent even had to clarify his response to one of Bartz's questions in a June school board meeting. He said he had no knowledge of assaults in bathrooms and locker rooms, even though just a month earlier, a teenager was charged for sexually assaulting a student. Superintendent Superintendent Scott Ziegler assumed Bartz was referring to incidents involving transgender students. I regret that my comments were misleading and I apologize for the distress that error caused families. I should have asked board member Bartz clarifying questions to get to the root of her question rather than assuming what she meant. I will do better in the future. And Bartz will be stepping down by next month, but there was more of a reason. The superintendent held a press conference today. He addressed the alleged sexual cases, sexual assault cases uh, recently and claims that the school system did not properly address them. What he is now admitting to and what they're planning to change. That part of the story coming up on WSA 9 at 6. Reporting live in Ashburn, I'm Matthew Torres, WSA 9. Yeah, clearly a lot to work out there in Loudoun County tonight. We'll see you back here at 6, Matthew. Thank you.